Hi everyone, Mr Dix here. Great recipe, chicken parcel, chicken frulette. I'm going to put all the ingredients and the method in the description. But the first thing you do is chop up your bacon and start frying it. So you want the bacon cooked but not burnt. But you do need to make sure the bacon is cooked because when we put it into the pie mixture, it won't kind of crisp anymore. It will cook but won't crisp anymore. So you have kind of wet bits of, of uh, fat which is not particularly pleasant so get it nice and crispy and then I'm going to take it out in a second and then I'm going to start frying the onion. The onions are now uh, cooking, they're getting soft. I'm now going to take them out, put them in with the bacon and then I'm going to put the chicken in that I have chopped into nice even squares and then I'm going to fry the chicken until the chicken is brown but not actually cooked. So that'll take about three, four minutes. So I've got 25 grams of flour that I'm going to sprinkle into the chicken mixture and that will actually thicken the sauce or help to thicken the sauce. So we stir that in. And what you're looking for is all the liquid uh, to be absorbed. Right, now once that happens, I now have some stock. This is chicken stock. Um, it literally is just a cube. Okay, it's one of those jelly cubes, but it's still a cube. What you can do is you're going to add this a little bit at a time and stir so it incorporates. If you add it all in one go, it's likely to uh, uh, to make the sauce go a bit um, a bit lumpy. Okay, so you just literally add a bit, stir, add some more stock, stir, let it boil, and then um, then the next stage. Once you've added all the stock, you're going to put it on a very low simmer. But before you do that, remember you, we've got the bacon and the onion. All that goes in, and then we're just going to mix all that in, and we're going to simmer this for about half an hour, but really low. You've got to put the, the um, temperature on the lowest it can go. Just want to be ticking over. All right, keep an eye on it because obviously if it dries out on the bottom, which is possible, you're going to need, add, need to add a little bit more liquid, otherwise it will dry out and burn on the bottom. Add some seasoning, some salt and pepper, and then at this point, add in the spinach if you're using spinach, or put in the mushrooms if you're using mushrooms. So this has been about 20, 25 minutes, kind of, you know, thereabouts. You see, you want it fairly thick, because remember, it's gonna be contents of a pie. Okay, what we now do is we're gonna add some creme fraiche. Okay, and that will lighten um, the whole mixture. The final thing is just a handful of uh, parsley, fresh, fresh parsley. If you haven't got fresh, I wouldn't actually bother, to be honest, because uh, the dried doesn't really taste that much. All right, now at that point, give it a mix in. We're good. What we're now going to do is allow that to cool, and it must be cool before we put it in the pastry, otherwise uh, the pastry will, will melt because of the heat. So we're going to leave this cool down. That's going to take half an hour, 45 minutes, and then we can actually make the parcels. So our mixture is now cold, right? So it's actually completely cold now. That's taken about half an hour, I guess, to get cold. I've got a pre-rolled sheet of pastry, just because it was there. So I bought it off uh, puff pastry. Now, it's always a little bit thick, um, a bit thick, thicker than you want, really, because you don't like uncooked pastry. So if this is the case for you, leave it on the paper, and you literally want to just roll it so it becomes much more of a square. At the moment, it's more an oblong. You do want a square, but keep it on the paper. You shouldn't need any flour, particularly, um, unless you've left it out too long, and it's got a bit soft, you might need a little bit of flour in that case. If you um, have got a block of pastry, then you need to do it into as much as a square as you can do. Right, before we do that, I just wanted to, to see no kind of one other option you can do. My wife is actually on a diet, all right? So the pastry's not great. So what we're gonna do is, um, at least for her, I'm gonna put in some of this mixture into a little baking dish. And what I've got is I've got some mash, which I did buy, I will not lie, I didn't make it. And all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put um, some mash on top and then stick it in the oven later. All right, so that's an easy variation if you want to kind of lower the calories. You can also um, actually add uh, mushrooms in here. If you don't like spinach, you can put mushrooms in, but you put it in at exactly the same point as you did the spinach. Let's get rid of that for the moment. As you can see also, I've got a little uh, one egg yolk, a brush. So let's make, now that is actually called chicken fulets. It's actually French. Um, 
chicken parcels, whatever you're good with really. So this mixture should make four. I know that I've put like more than one mixture into the baking dish, but that's fine, I'll give you an idea. So, all we then do is put, so if you had all this, you would put a quarter, yeah, all the mixture in. This is a main course, so you've got a decent amount. So it's always helpful when you're doing the video and the phone goes. Anyway, so we got to some egg yolks and, or just a egg yolk, brush the edge. You can use a whole egg, um, but an egg yolk actually gives you a much fuller, you know, kind of richer flavor and color as well. So what you can do is you're gonna get two edges. So this edge and this edge, and you pull these together. So it makes like a purse, um, essentially. And then we're going to pull this side and then this side. Okay, now it doesn't matter too much. You do need to try and seal the edges. If you're having difficulty sealing because the pastry is maybe getting a bit um, sticky, just get some uh, flour and uh, put that on your fingers and that will help. Okay, and there we have one parcel do make sure it's sealed otherwise it will kind of come uh you know undone um when you bake it what we're then going to do is with the rest of the uh, egg it's going to brush it over now this is going to go on the magic 180 and it will take around 25 minutes that's really for cooking the pastry um because obviously the filling is is cooked the benefit of this you can do as well in advance right so um you can make the uh, the filling I mean, a couple of days in, in advance, actually. I wouldn't make these too far in advance because the moisture is likely to make the pastry soggy um, unless you kind of make them and put them on a baking tray and then, you know, you can do it maybe a day before. All right, but it's one of these things you can do. At this point, you could freeze them as well and then you just take them out when you need them, let them defrost on a baking sheet and you've got a fairly kind of posh um, dinner party dish. All right, so I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you make this, please send me a picture at cookandmrsdicks at gmail.com and I will see you all soon. Take care.